people, I'm Bernadette Saptic, and I am half Serbian, a fourth Croatian, a fourth Slovenian, so you can't get any more Slavic than me. So my mother's parents, um, my grandfather was Croatian from Lipnik, Croatia, and my grandmother was Slovenian from a small village on the border um, of Croatia and Slovenia and they did not know each other in the old country. They didn't live that far away from each other, but they met here in America. They were next door neighbors. Um, and when my grandfather first came in 1912, um, he was the fourth brother to come, and they all stayed in the same house on Fifth Street in the Strawberry Hill area. My grandmother came in 1922, and um, her father, my great-grandfather, had come in 1912 worked for the railroad, and he was just now, after all those years, getting enough money to send for the rest of his family to join him. So he sent for his three daughters, and then, so they lived next door to the Motorson brothers, and um, so they all sat on the porches and talked, and my grandfather spotted her one night and thought, I'm going to marry her, and she had no idea. And he also worked in the neighborhood tobacco store, so my grandmother would go down the street to the tobacco store to get the favorite tobacco of my grandfather, and she would keep forgetting the name, and he knew it, so he would help her and kind of make her linger and talk, and eventually, within a year, they were married, so she married the boy next door from America, <laughs> the Croatian boy next door, so um, I thought that was pretty neat. I-70, I do remember, because I lived on Fifth Street. And one house away from our house is the beginning of I-70. And it tore up a lot of the community. And that's when a lot of young people moved away from Strawberry Hill. When they, because it was in 1958, I think when they started to do all of this. And so as the young people married, they all had to move away. There weren't any houses for sale. And all the older people were trying to get a house so they could still live in the area of the church on Strawberry Hill. And I think that was the beginning of uh, spreading out where everyone didn't stick so close together. and. Uh, I remember the pastor of our parish, Monsignor Steinmack. Well, they uh, started Christ the King Parish West, and there were so many of the young Croatian people who went that way. He used to refer to it as St. Uh, John's West. But it, I-70 had a big impact on this area, a very big impact. We had a ballpark. We had a lot of things that we had to give up for the highway. All the kids, everybody knew everybody. And I mean, it's not like we knew each other. We knew the old people. The old people knew who we were. And that made a big difference. I mean, no matter where you went, and you, we were taught to be extremely respectful to the old people. And like, you know, we had a, we had a ballpark down the, down the street on Fifth Street and all the men would go there and watch ball games. And at nine o'clock, the armor whistle blew and everybody had to be home. Well, if my dad was down there watching, I got a reprieve, I could stay up. But I mean, that was the thing. At nine o'clock, you'd see kids running up Fifth Street to get back on their front porch. And it was, I mean, that's just the way it was. You come to church and everybody knew you and you knew everybody, which is still today a very nice feeling. And if something happened to somebody, the whole community would kind of get together. So it was it was a good way to it was a good way to be be raised truly. <laughs>